Ray J, as you know, is not just <laughs> Brandy's brother. Uh, Ray J is his own person. He's had hit music. He's had hit reality shows. Um, and he has really been a really interesting staple in Black pop culture. And in the age of social media, he's only gotten bigger and more interesting and, and frankly, more hilarious. I've spent a decent amount of time around Ray J. When I worked at VH1, and he's he's an incredible talent. He's incredibly funny. He's incredibly interesting. Um, just interesting guy. Anyway, so he comes on Club Shay Shay. Ray J goes on Club Shay Shay, and Shannon Sharp asks him a question about him dating older women. I you know I don't want no copyright claims. I, Shay, Shannon got all 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 the real estate. I don't want to give him my night school too. So I'm not gonna play the clip. But what I will say is watch the interview for yourself. But Shannon Sharp asks him a question about dating older women. And when you go to, you can go right here on YouTube and look at the response. If you see on the left on the screen here, dating, if the club Shay Shay posted a clip of it saying, dating older women, Ray J shares his experience. And as he's sharing his experience, Ray J talks about the age gaps in the women that he's dated. He says that he started dating older women um, when he was 14 years old. He says that he was 14 years old and he started dating a woman in her 30s. Uh, he was 14, she was 30. Thirty-four, and he asked Ray J what he learned from the experience. And I watched this myself. I didn't watch it to tell this story. I just watched Shay Shay because I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the show. I'm a fan of Shannon Sharp. I like what he does. Uh, oftentimes on media, particularly you know the sports stuff. Um, but I'm watching this unfold. And they asked him what he learned dating older women. And Ray J said, and here's a quote, and, and Shay Shay ran the quote themselves on Instagram. You can see it right here on the page. He said, they really taught me how to be clean. And that's why I love an older woman. They cleanse me of all dirt and all sin back in the day. And I'll never forget them. Now, that quote doesn't necessarily say a whole lot. So, and, and this is the first thing he said. So I was like, what the hell does that mean? Is he, you know, but he kept going, right? He, he talks about how he was dating this woman. Again, he was 14. She was in her thirties and he would like, he said he would shower, but like he was, he was only doing like a light shower. And like, to the point that when he was toweling off, um, there was still dirt on the towel and she had to teach him how to properly shower and that when he was in the bathtub there'd be a ring around the tub it was so dirty he was talking about regular 14 year old boy shit or maybe girl shit too you know i've raised <laughs> i've raised kids enough to know that you know you have to um teach kids to take a good bath to take a deep bath but this ain't about relationship shit this is about how you raise a 14 year old boy boy get back in that tub boy use a washcloth cleans out the tub when you're done right this is kid shit this isn't dating shit. Forgive my language. I'm just very frustrated by this. So he says this. And he says, yeah, they taught me spiritual shit. Yeah, they taught me to get rid of the dirt of all this stuff and all these levels. But then he gets the, the, the kind of muck and mire of like daily like hygiene, which was just a reminder that these women were not dating Ray J. Let me let me just say it from the top. No 34-year-old can date a 14-year-old. No 34-year-old can date a 14-year-old. That's number one. Um, Ray J was harmed in this. This is, you know, somebody said it's grooming. It's not even grooming. 
because grooming is you kind of wait until the per you, you do these things until the person is of age and then when they're of legal age and you have plausible deniability you um you then engage in the sexual part of it from what i gather from ray j the sexual stuff happened when he was 14 and 15 and 16 and 17. a child cannot consent to this a child cannot agree to this and the fact that now in his 30s or 40s even, Ray J is still talking about this as dating older women. That scares me. It also explains a lot. <laughs> but that's another conversation for another day. I wish that when he was telling this story, our brother Shannon Sharp, my brother Shannon Sharp would have said to him, this was not dating. And I know from Shannon's perspective, he's, he said, like, you know, I'm not doing hard hitting interviews here. I'm here to let people share their story. I get that. But when Amanda Seals was on there and Amanda Seals offered her story about dealing with racism and her experience as being uh, sort of mistreated as a child actor, he pushed back. He said, yeah, but what about this? Have you thought about this? Where's your accountability? He was pushing back to me at times where we didn't need to. I'm not saying he should have challenged Ray J, but he should have forced Ray J to think about um, what happened in a different way. If a woman had come on the show and said, when I was 14, a 34-year-old man dated me, taught me how to bathe, taught me how to be a, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we dated and I learned a lot. I would like to think that Shannon would have said, in fact, I know Shannon would have said, because he's an upstanding, reasonable, responsible, moral individual. Um, he would have said, at 14, you weren't dating a 34-year-old man. You were not dating a 34-year-old man at 14. He would have said that. We all would have said that. But there's a way that when it comes to boys, and especially black boys, who are adultified so fast, who are sexualized so early, that we just think it's cool, that we just think it's okay, that we just think it's normal, that we just think it's healthy, or we don't acknowledge how unhealthy it is. It's probably more accurate to see this kind of shit happen. So as Ray J is telling it, I'm feeling sad for Ray J. I'm not. This isn't. A, to be clear. This isn't a, a dragging of Shannon Sharp or even a. I, I I don't think Shannon handled this right, and I, and 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 I think he should have said something about it. But this isn't about him. This is about Ray J. Ray J was harmed at 14. Ray J was harmed at 14. And as I watch him go through the world now, how he talks about relationships, how he talks about sex, how he navigates the world, he's doing, he, he, he's trying to navigate the world with this, trauma behind him it's not my job to break him down it's not my job to psychoanalyze him i'm just saying anybody who had to go through a ray j went through at 14 um is struggling with something and we as a society don't even hold space for that we don't even create the opportunity to say this was wrong this was not okay. This was awful. We don't even create the space to have that conversation. Instead, we applaud 14 year old boys or 16 year old boys who go through this stuff. We, we celebrate it. We, we make them feel like something's wrong with them if they're not being sexualized or if they don't have the desire to be sexualized. Um, I don't know, man. This feels like Ray J was assaulted, harmed, molested, whatever. I don't know his 
full story, so I'm not going to get into the particulars, but there's no way that those stories or these stories can go on.